book. It's called Grow Kind. That's what we want to do. We want to grow kindness. My name is Kiko. I grow kind. I will show you, but first I have a question for you. Who helps you wake up in the morning? This morning, Chico woke me up by licking my face. He went, we went outside to check the garden. We saw peas, peaches, tomatoes, and potatoes, radishes and roses, blackberries and broccoli, melons and marigolds, and so much. Thank you for following. I, want to, I wanted to wake up Annie, but Mom and Dad stopped me. Be kind to Annie and let her rest, said Mom. Teenagers need a lot of sleep. I really wanted to show Annie everything growing in the garden, but I played fetch with Chico outside and waited for her to wake up. Finally, Annie woke up. You're up, you're up. I grabbed Annie's hand and pulled her toward the garden. Beautiful, Annie said. I know you worked hard caring for your garden. Do you need to help to harvest? Annie and I filled our arms with lots of yummy fruits and vegetables and some pretty flowers. I gave spinach, carrots, peppers, and broccoli to my dad because he likes to cook. Wonderful, he said. Thank you. The gift of veggies made my dad so happy. I wanted to share with other people, too. Annie and I loaded up the wagon with food and flowers. Be kind to our friends and neighbors helps them feel good. Being kind to our friends and neighbors helps them feel good, I told Annie. And it helps you feel good, too, said Annie. We pulled the heavy wagon down the street, delivering delicious gifts. Blackberries for Keisha, who loves sweet fruit. Soft, ripe tomatoes for Mrs. Stevens, who has a hard time chewing. Peppers and corn for our next door neighbors, Matt and Mitch, who love to grill. Potatoes for Mr. Thompson, who makes fresh potato salad. Subtle sunflowers for Mr. Carroll, who needs cheering up. When we got to Mr. Carroll's house, we, were, we slowly walked to the front door. I was nervous. One time he shouted at Chico for running into his yard. But when Mr. Carroll opened the door, a smile lit up his face. Thank you both, he said. You're very kind. He gave Chico a gentle pat on the head. The next day, a pack box full of fruits and vegetables to share. I packed a box full of fruits and vegetables to share with my teacher and friends at school. But on the drive to school, I saw someone standing on the corner. I asked my mom if we could stop. I opened up the box. What do you like to eat? I asked. Those peaches look delicious, she replied. I gave her some, and she waved as we said goodbye. During show and tell, I listened carefully to my friends. Ida brought her pet turtle. Don brought a jigsaw puzzle. Carmen brought her watercolor painting. When it was my turn, I said, I brought my garden. I gave everyone something to eat. It's show and tell and share. It made me feel so good to see everyone eating and enjoying their fresh snacks. That night, I took out my journal to write about my day. I wrote about Mr. Carroll's smile, peaches for a hungry woman, my friends enjoying the garden's fruits, and Annie's helpful ways. Talking time, taking time to be kind to others makes everyone feel good. Growing a garden and sharing the harvest helped me grow kind. How do you grow kind? And this is a letter to parents and children about the book and about kindness. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Like, subscribe, tap that bell, and read every single day. You're catching it.